Shalom, brothers and sisters. So, I'd like to point out Galatians 6 verse 7. Do not be deceived. God is not mocked. For whatever a man sows, that he will also reap. There's some golden rules in life, especially for your country and yourself, if you don't want to struggle or suffer too much. There is struggle and there is suffering. That's part of life. But if you want to heap it on, attack or be an enemy of Israel or try and stand against them. Blessed are those who bless you. Cursed are those who curse you. And then, if you're not doing that, then mock God. Mock Jesus, claim to be Messiah, attack him. Galatians 6 verse 7. Do not be deceived. God is not mocked. Whatever a man sows, that he will also reap. Now we've seen this. There are multiple examples of these things being enacted. Where these things take place and where this punishment and judgment comes sweeping back. Now we've got idiots in my country that have attacked Israel from government levels and in the big conferences had them chucked out and everything and we're seeing that fallout and now openly mocking God once again. It's not a new thing. They've been doing it for a while, but attached to this video, you'll see the latest one. And yes, I love my country. It's sad to see what I'm seeing, but I'm heaven bound. I'm going to my new country, the one I'm supposed to be at with my Lord and Savior soon. And I'm praying for as many as my countrymen and my fellow brothers and sisters in the world with their families that are unsaved and everyone that they be touched, saved and reached while there are still a few milliseconds left in this hourglass before tribulation kicks in. God bless. Keep looking up. Shalom. The same way the Christians are waiting for Jesus to come. We are not religious. We can't wait for Jesus to come. We are Jesus ourselves. We are going to clean that place. So what is an idiot? A foolish or a stupid person? The fool has said in his heart there is no God. So there it is. What is exciting about this for me, because I see the excitement in everything because I'm so close to leaving anyway, that I see the signs of it all around me because I'm a watchman. What's exciting for me is they are referring to the Christians looking for Jesus Christ coming back. Everybody sees it, feels it, is in their DNA knowing that he's about to return, whether they believe it or not. And how brilliant is that? Have a great day. Pray for people like this. God bless. Shalom.